Hello, it's Story Wilson with RSWSolutions.com. This is the EAS Unlock version 3 software. So many of you have been familiar with the old original EAS Unlock software I wrote back in, gosh, 2008? Sometime around then, 2007? Long time ago. Ancient history. Redesigned the tool, eliminated a lot of the problems with connectivity because there's a dedicated piece of hardware that is distributed with this software. And I've just added a brand new module, so it no longer just functions with the air suspension. It still does all the old tricks with working with the air suspension, resetting the air suspension, recalibrating it, but I've begun to expand some of the functions for the old P38A Range Rover. So today I'm going to show you, let's go ahead and get through the connection process here. First step, connect the USB transceiver to the USB port of your computer. Let's go ahead and uh, go through this license here and go to the software module we're going to work with. I've added a body control module configuration page that will allow us to configure the body control module on the P38A Range Rover. Let's go ahead and turn on the key in the second position or start the engine. So real simple to get started we're just going to begin with get settings. The dash display on the P38A Range Rover will say diagnostic mode the BECM is being communicated with. You get transmit and receive. Here we go. We've just returned the current settings, the body control module on my Range Rover. And you, it's really easy to change. Um, you can just choose the drop down box you want to change. Change this to a right hand drive vehicle. Change the speed limit, whatever you want to do. Once you've decided on your changes, <clears throat> you will write them. And the write process takes a little bit of time. Uh, a little bit longer than the read. Transmit and receives going on. The dash will display diagnostic mode in text for you to read, indicating the BECM is in diagnostic mode. Once it's done, uh, you should see the changes immediately. And um, that's it, basically. We've just written these changes. If you want to get them again, you just simply hit get settings again, and you can verify that those changes have been uh, actually enforced, written to the body control module. And there we go, all those changes we just wrote in uh, have been done. Now, there's another function, view logs. If you want to view your logs, you can see there are defaults. The default file has been created, and this is a listing of all of the previous and uh, settings on your body control module, so you can keep track of your original body control module settings as you change them. So, you can always go back and put it the way it was before just in case you accidentally change something. Anyway, this is the new module for the EAS Unlock V3 software, version 3 software. It's paired with an RSW Solutions hardware dongle. And again, this is only available through RSW Solutions. Anyone touting to, to uh, sell this is selling it legally. I am the only legal distributor of the software and the hardware that I work so hard to create. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this useful.